Hello! How the fudge you doing? Hey guys, Dfield here bringing you another episode of Factions Let's Play and guys, today we are actually going to be doing a little bit of base work here today and um, I actually wanted to expand uh, my money farm today. So as you guys may know, if I do slash home golem, I do have a golem spawner basically expanding as the days go by because we're AFKing every money every night, selling the ingots and basically making money off of that. But you know what? I thought I could e make this even better, and that is because if I if I go down here to the very bottom of this room, I, I notice that I have a really really wide open space area in this space right here. So if I'm in the AFK room up top overnight, I I can make a room here. Uh, with like a sh either a sugarcane room or a cookie room for money. So I actually think that I am going to be um, making a sugar, not a sugarcane farm, but I'm going to be making a cookie farm down here in this little open area here, as you guys can see, and we'll be able to just basically make money and make bank off of uh, both the iron golem farm and off of making cookies. So making cookies is really, really simple and really, really easy. So we will be able to just basically do that really quickly. But what we're going to be doing, so it's a solo episode today. Uh, we've been raiding a lot in the past couple of days. So we are going to take a step back and focus a little bit more on the base work. Because obviously, factions is also, is also about um, buying... Uh, well, not really buying, but making sure that you have a very strong base and a very nice steady stream of income. So that is what I'm going to be doing today. So I'm going to be going to the shop really quickly and then I'm going to be buying jungle wood. And I also need wheat. Now the thing with wheat is I think that I could just buy... See, this this cocoa bean is really expensive, so I'm only going to buy like three stacks right now. But I, I think that I'm going to just buy the wheat off of um, the shop. Uh, very very quickly just because it's it's hard to make a wheat farm well it's not really hard but it takes a pretty decent amount of time for wheat to grow actually so what we're going to be doing is probably just going to be buying wheat and I'll, I'll give myself a sell wheat sign or a buy wheat sign with the same prices as the shop so I don't have to go to the shop every single time but what we're going to be doing oh look at those weird sound effects what we're going to be doing is yeah making a, a cookie farm and I've never made a cookie farm on an actual factions let's play episode before because I never thought that I would need one now is there wheat in the shop there is so 16 wheat is 200 so that means 64 wheat is uh, 800 so we're going to go slash warp uh, or not slash warp um F home, not F home, home base. Now let's go ahead uh, and uh, give myself some wood here and then we're gonna make ourselves um, a sign. So let's go workbench and let's make ourselves some signs really quickly. So I am gonna personally make myself some uh, wheat cell signs just for, since I am the admin, it's fine if I can go ahead and uh, just make one buy wheat sign here just to help my farm out a little bit. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to head on over here. Now, I don't really know the design for a wheat farm or for a, not a wheat farm, sorry, for a cocoa bean farm. So I'm kind of just going to be winging this. So buy 64 wheat is 800. So there we go. There's our buy wheat sign. So then what we're going to do is we're going to take obviously jungle wood and um how does this work okay let's let's do a couple of test test runs um okay so we could we could put the cocoa beans like this can we put it all the way around we can put it all the way around so now i can put another log here and then cocoa beans here oh that doesn't work Ooh. okay so wait home base let me go ahead and where's my axes? Tools, tools, chest. Do, 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 do. Where's my? I have no axes. Are you serious? Where are all my axes? Wait, I'm gonna borrow one from Insanity. Don't tell Matthew, guys. I'm gonna borrow one real quickly from him. Where's his axes? Matthew better have some axes up here. I swear. If Matthew doesn't have axes, he's just a fail. All right, come on. Here, it should be in here. There we go. Okay, let's borrow this axe slash back. So it looks like we can't put these right next to each other. So maybe we could go for a diagonal. Will that work? So like this. Uh, let's try. So let's go boom, boom. Wow, these grow so quickly. Holy moly. 
And that, that is more than our investment right there. Okay, so we could do a little bit of a diagonal, a diagonal scheme, and we could go all the way around the tree like this. So if we follow this, this should be a pretty, pretty easy farm to build. This is actually really, really good. I thought that it would take longer. But yeah, this work, this actually works perfectly. Like I can walk around it and I can place it um, all on all sides and it's very, very space efficient. And uh, this will just be making our um, actual cocoa beans. So we, we've got a buy wheat sign. So you guys will be able to buy wheat at the shop whenever you're making this kind of farm. And then I think that these cocoa beans actually provide some light. So no, no endermen should actually spawn in here. So let's go ahead and just repeat this pattern over and over again. But anyways, guys, while I do repeat this pattern, who enjoyed that Factions Let's Play PvP War yesterday? Like, I that was honestly one of the most fun I've had in, like, a recording of a Faction War in a while. Not, not because I had a lot of kills, but because of OP Factions itself. Like... Just uh, the the fact that everybody had like above prot 10 armor and then like a bunch of in, um, breaking levels on their armor. It was just really, really interesting to see who could actually outplay and focus on specific targets at the same time. And I honestly, that was really, really a lot of fun. And I if I could do that again and if I could, if we could get more of those faction wars going, like more of those organized faction wars. Um, Guys, that would be a lot of fun, and I know that um, a majority of the Faction Wars are only dedicated and uh, geared towards the bigger factions, but you guys have to understand that if we invite all the small factions, we might not get a really good recording out of it, because if the small factions don't have a lot of actual, um, let's say a lot of gear... If the factions don't have a lot of gear, we're not going to be able to fight for prolonged periods of times, and there's not going to be like that feeling of um, victory. Because you know, if if you're if you're pooning a bunch of small factions, if you're if you're just owning them and uh, making them feel sorry for themselves, it's not really a lot of fun. It's it's a lot more fun when everybody's kind of on even ground when it comes to armor. Everybody's got uh, you know the same skill set in each. A specific faction so no one faction is really um overpowered compared to the others and honestly speaking guys that faction war yesterday was actually really 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 close and i think that uh wizard time told me that uh, the reason why um the the war turned out or might have turned out the way it was is because he said that in the middle of the war he decided to tell his faction to like betray uh team nudist and god squad i don't know if i believe that though i just i just think that they're just trying to give reasons for the actual win to go our way. But I don't know. Well, we, we don't really know exactly what happened. But honestly speaking, this is why we have those big factions wars. Because we want to have wars with people who are going to have, you know, the the, um, the ability and the, the, the longevity of being able to survive for really, really long fights. So don't feel bad if you're not in one of the big factions. Obviously, it's very, very hard to get into one of the big factions on either green, black, blue, whatever server you happen to play on because it's a lot of trust because, you know, obviously if you are in somebody's faction, they'll have access to all your lands, they'll have access to your F home. So it's really, really a risk for any faction owner to, um, you know, to accept new people into their actual faction. So if you guys are asking me, like a lot of you guys in the in the comment sections or the, you guys PM me saying, can I please, please, please join your faction? And honestly, guys, I do like want to trust everybody, but it's hard to trust everybody knowing that it's very, very easy for them to just betray you and then you'll have to start all over. And then it just won't be really, really good for my series in general. So no hard feelings to anybody, guys. It's really just for... Um, you know, for the sake of my series and for the sake of um, insanity, because insanity is the one who kind of plays, uh, for fun on the server as well. I don't want to be rebuilding our base over and over and over and over again. So hopefully you guys do understand that and, uh, do understand that we're not trying to be mean to you guys. We're just, it's just really, really hard for us to tr be able to trust everybody all at once. So no hard feelings, guys, no hard feelings, but I'm pretty sure you guys will understand that eventually because if you guys, I mean, the, the best thing you guys could probably do is um, try to get into good terms with one of the other big, bigger factions, and then maybe they'll they'll recruit you. They'll actually recruit you guys into um, into their faction one day. So just keep that in mind and keep your hopes up, guys. There's no need to be sad that you're not in any of the big faction wars. It's really all about dedication. So the more that they see you on the server and the more that they get to know you, the more likely they'll also invite you into their faction. So anyways, we're, we're going to be finished with that topic. But as you guys can see, this, this cocoa bean farm is actually turning out very, very well. 
And I, I, I don't know if this is the most space efficient. I'm actually going to do a little bit of a test here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make these first two rows like this. And then I'm going to make another row of just straight um, cocoa bean farm like walls. So maybe I'm going to do something like this. Uh oh, there's an Enderman here. So let's try something like this as well. And I'll kind of see which one produces more. I know this. So this will be able to hold three basically. So if I go on over here, let's kill this Enderman. Alright, so let's go ahead here and put this down. So we'll be able to place three here, I think. Oh no, only two. But we can't place one on top. So we might as well just finish this, finish off this wall, I guess. So we can go ahead and do this. So I'm going to try both methods, both ways. I'm not really sure which is better as of right now. But we'll try both ways and see um, which one produces more in the long run. And then this one will just have two in a row. I think that this will actually be a little bit faster to actually harvest because they're all in a row like this. And obviously after a long night of AFKing, this will all be just very, very easily um, ripe and ready for harvest. So I know that you guys have been told, telling me a lot of the comments have been telling me that a, a sugar cane or not a sugar cane, sorry. Um, a cookie farm is actually a lot more productive and a lot more efficient than a sugar cane farm. So I know I decided to try it out today. I had no raid for you guys today. I was building my new computer and I am actually recording on my new computer today. So I'm really, really hoping that everything's going to work out. And uh, yeah, so I've got a new computer. We'll be probably be live streaming over the next couple of days. So just make sure you guys hit the follow button on my Twitch stream so that um, you guys are notified whenever it is I do go live. So it is going to be a fairly short episode today i'm gonna to go ahead and finish off uh this layer here and then we'll go ahead and end the episode today right there so i actually think i can make this a lot more compact i might have been skipping a little bit yeah i might have been actually skipping a possible source of income right here so let's do that there and then can i do another one here no the next one has to be here Okay, so I think I've been doing it correctly, so it shouldn't be too bad. If I'm doing something wrong, guys, in the comment sections below, if I placed one of these blocks or one of these pillars on the wrong side or something, let me know so I can fix it and make my farm even more efficient. But yes, guys, sugarcane farms, um, obviously cookie farms are probably two of the best things you guys can make if you guys are just starting out on factions and you don't have any donator kits to actually start to make money. So start out with the, the, the easy stuff. Start out with the stuff that you can make quick moolah, quick cash off of, and then eventually work your way up towards the spawners. And that's kind of what I'm doing, but I'm actually going to be double the doing double the work like we'll, we'll have uh, obviously we'll have our big iron golem money maker and then we'll have even on the side whenever i'm just playing for fun on the server we'll have a sugar cane and a um what's it called we have a sugar cane farm and also a cocoa bean farm so let's actually let me go check my uh, home farm check out how our farm is doing so yes everything is grown here so look this is the this is the the amazing part of having this farm like what what the heck Is this a base? Somebody's making po somebody made a base here. Oh, I'm going to take this glass. All right, hopefully they don't know. What the heck is this? Somebody's using my sugarcane farm here. Is there anything Oh, is this claimed? Oh, I can't do F map on because it's going to show the cords. Um wow. Okay, let's just grab all this. Why not? There's obsidian, there's TNT. Oh, there's diamond. This is from kit start, I believe. I got to sneeze real quick, guys. Hold on. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Uh, what the heck? There's more obsidian. What is this? Is <laughs> somebody is is this somebody's base now? I haven't been here in like a couple of days, but somebody made a base in my sugarcane farm. You know what? I'll just let them use this base, but uh, for the price of obviously all their obsidian. So I'm gonna take their obsidian and anything else that I would need. I think that's basically it. What the heck? Somebody made a base in my sugarcane farm. <laughs> what the heck is that? But that's that's cool. I, I took I took their obsidian. They they can use the base. So slash eat home base. All right, that that's pretty cool. Um, that's actually really really weird. I wasn't expecting somebody to have access to my um to my freaking farm over there. But I don't use the sugarcane farm too much anymore because I do have that. Uh, iron golem farm but we'll keep that there anyway just in case so let's go ahead and just put these in here 
And then I know that all the TNT... Wow, Pelo has been activating... Pelo has been... Uh, I mean, not activating, sorry. Pelo has been freaking organizing all these chests. We've got this cool little central chest as well, which looks like it's just a bunch of armor and stuff. So let's go ahead and put uh, the glass all in here. So whenever I need glass, I can just grab from there. That's really weird. I was not expecting um, a freaking base to be in my uh, farm right there. Oh, jeez, I'm getting hit by the Enderman. Okay, so let's go ahead and finish off this farm, and then we can go ahead and end this episode. I've only got 56 cocoa beans left, so we should be able to not drag this episode on for too much longer. So let's go ahead and finish this. Boop, 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 and uh, boop, 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 boop. If, I feel like I'm raiding my own farm over there, because technically it's my farm, but it's somebody else's property now, because... I don't think it's claimed though, because if it was if if it was claimed, I wouldn't be able to take the stuff in it. So that's really weird. Somebody found my sugarcane farm and is now using it. Oh my gosh, that's so messed up. They're using they're using my own hard work and labor for their for their own personal good. So okay, so there we go. We're gonna go ahead and end the episode right here, guys. Hopefully, you guys did learn something new about making cocoa bean farms, and that's a that was a really really weird uh, find for me to find my freaking. Uh, farm my sugarcane farm taken but hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode and if you did make sure you guys smash that like button for me we'll try to get some more raids for you guys in the upcoming days i am just fiddling around with my new computer today but yes hopefully you guys did enjoy today's episode and if you did if you guys haven't already make sure you guys like comment and subscribe this is d field and as always we will see you guys later